Thanks for joining us here on AgriPulse.com. Joined today now by uh, Pat Delaney at the American Soybean Association. And Pat, uh, I want to talk about the just the method of sponsorship that uh, ASA is providing here because you're teaming up with the soybean checkoff. Uh, wh why, why for this particular event, the sponsorship of the Ag and Food Policy Summit was teaming up with the checkoff the right move for the American Soybean Association? Well, I think one of the real things that both we and our partners at the United Soybean Board have identified is a need to grow the baseline knowledge of what the checkoff is and what areas it's working on. And so as we think about your subject matter here at the, uh, at the policy summit, you're talking about issues like sustainable ag technology and uh, biotechnology and things like that. Those are all areas that the checkoff is working uh, with producer dollars to further, uh, to further our industry. And so I think what we have identified, especially here in Washington, is that a lot of people don't even understand at a basic level what the checkoff is and what it does. And so we're uh, very happy to be here and happy to work with with a lot of the influencers you have in the room to really help raise that level of, of understanding. So that in mind, a lot of conversation about from the policy to the production level here at the summit today. What message do you hope attendees leave understanding about soybean production? Well, I think one of the things that, that a couple of your panels touched on really well is the capacity of, of production agriculture to produce, to meet the needs of those 9 billion people by 2050, but to do so sustainably. And at the core of that, uh, I, I think our, our new traits, our research, um, our, our work within specific industry sectors like soybeans on things like sustainable supply for overseas demand, we're finding that repeatedly uh, in places like Europe and in other markets, they're demanding a sustainable source of soybeans. And so through our work with USB and the U.S. Soybean Export Council on projects like the Soy Sustainability Assurance Protocol, we're able to guarantee that what we send overseas is sustainable. So to hear uh, your panels really talk about that and explore all the different facets of sustainability and agricultural technology is really a good, uh, a, a good next step in terms of really driving that message home. Mm -hmm. From your perspective as an agricultural communicator, why is it important for groups to leave events like this on the same page? Well, I think, I think, especially with an issue like sustainability, if you have 100 people in a room and you ask them to define it, you are going to get 100 different definitions, right? We're not going to solve that problem overnight. We're not going to solve it with one summit. However, the more you talk about it with all of those parties in the room, the more you can really work towards a combined uh, definition or get towards that, that single definition of what this really means for us. For us, uh, we are so focused on trade and overseas demand that sustainability within the within the soybean industry really focuses on what our customers overseas are looking for. That may not be the same thing on the sorghum side or on the corn side or on the, uh, on the beef or dairy side. Uh, so it really, the more people you have in that room and the more times you have this discussion to figure out what that coordinated definition is, the better off you'll be. Pat, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.